guys and welcome back to my channel today i'm doing this look for you uh using techniques and products that i don't usually use on everyday basis so yeah let's get started so we are working first with our eyes in this um and then going on with the face so to prime the eyes i'm just using my concealer from tarte shape tape and then I'm going straight in with my eyebrows using two different products. Um, the first one is the Benefit Gibby Brow, and then the second one you will see just in a moment, uh, which is this my everyday ride or die um, L'Oreal Brow Plumper. This is in the color medium, and the one from Benefit was in the color I want to say dark brown. Anyway, now I'm properly priming my eyelid, my eyelids <laughs> with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is the original one. Um, I use this loads, and then I am setting my eyes with the Laura Mercier powder. This is the translucent one. Absolutely love it. The palette I'm using today is the Tartlet Bloomin palette. I think that's what it's called. Um, this beautiful purple one. It's funny because it's purple on the outside, but it's like neutrals and browns on the inside. Anyway. So just fast forwarding there, I'm just doing my crease with this like really, um, I was like a greyish brown colour to bring in, uh, to bring out my sockets and then I'm going in with a slightly darker brown to do my outer corners and give it a slightly more definition. Again, forwarding for your ease. And then I'm just doing a halo eye in this, so I'm just colouring, um, I'm blending in that dark colour in the inner corners as well and leaving the middle part of my eyes completely bare for now. Obviously we will go ahead and put something in there but for now this is what we are doing. Anywho, uh, we're going in with some more concealer. This is the Pat McGrath one which is an absolute dream to use. I'm just taking that a bit on my hand um, and then with a flat pointy brush. This is the one that I got with my one of my Urban Decay palettes. Um, I'm just taking that and pressing that onto my lids to create um, um, a cut crease. Um, now, I know that we now get a lot of things, like a lot of products, where you can actually use it only for cut crease, but I didn't have anything else, so I thought I would use a concealer. Anyway, I didn't do the best of cut creases in this video, I have to say. I've done much better before. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll fix it. Anyway, so I've just forwarded all of that. Um, and I've done my cut crease and now I'm just darkening the, um, I would say that the outer parameters of my eyes again. Uh, because I covered a bit too much. I think I got too excited with the concealer there. Anywho. Uh, we are now going in with um, this, I would say like it's um, it's like a muted down fleshy uh, glittery powder um, sh for eyeshadow that I'm putting in um, between, in the middle of my, like the centre of my eye. Um, but I did actually go ahead and um, add a bit of gold to it, you, you might see in a bit. Anyway, after adding that, I am reinforcing that cut crease and reinforcing my um, crease and um, yeah, just blending all, th all through. So that is my eyes done for now and as you can see, not the best of work, but um, we shall power through. <laughs> anyway, um, now I'm going with the face, so I'm using two of these primers, one is the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. And then one is the L'Oreal, I want to say, matte primer. It's basically the one that everyone uses with combination skin, which I do have. So I'm just taking that on the palm of my hand. Um, and the reason I'm using the palm of my hand is because I've heard it helps with warming up the product. And then I'm using, using my Huda Beauty uh, foundation. The color I use is Macaroon. So two pumps of that, I mix it in my palm, put it on my face, and then I'm using the most beautiful power um, brush ever. Um, this is the Fenty Beauty brush. It is amazing, and I am not um, a brush kind of person. 
at all. I've always used sponges, but this is just beautiful. Anyway, um, moving on, I am now just uh, correcting my under eyes with the Benefit Boying concealer in the color number two, which is a pinkish one, and then just doing a bit of concealer under the eyes with the uh, same Pat McGrath one. I did plan on putting more on, but then I said no, 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 no thank you, uh, because both of them are quite high coverage. Anyway, so blended that in with the same brush, um, and now I'm just correcting a bit of, like, I'm trying to make my eyebrows stand out a bit. I don't know how to use a pencil, please don't come at me, so I'm just using the Tarte Shape Tape again to kind of carve out my brows. Um, Please don't say anything to my very untamed eyebrows at the moment because we're in lockdown. I didn't get time and I didn't have the opportunity to um, get them thread threaded. So here I am trying my very best with some concealer to help my brows. Um, now we are going to powder the whole face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Again, um, with this foundation you don't need a lot of powder but like I said I'm doing the kind of makeup that I never do so this is it full coverage of the whole shebang and now I'm baking that's right not cookies not muffins I'm baking my under eyes with the Laura Mercier brightening powder as you can see and now for contour I didn't really have like a proper contoured shade but the color that I use from the palette for my crease is the perfect like um contoury shade I would say that's a that's a word um, so it's a greyish brown and it's a really good color so I'm just using that to contour my chin my jawline uh, my cheeks uh, a bit of my temples and just blending that in with a big fluffy brush and then going in with my bronzer from Chanel um, I know it's a bit cringy because I just powdered my face and this is like a cream bronzer but it doesn't really disturb anything underneath it. It's a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. So I just use it with or without setting my face. It doesn't really matter. Yep, so adding that every. And now going in with blush. This is the um, extra dimension blush from MAC called um, Faux Sure, which is an absolute beautiful, beautiful colour. Um, just putting that on my cheeks and then a bit on my nose as well next going in um, and then next um, I am just taking off my bake under my eyes and then with the most favorite part is highlighter so I'm using two highlighters today the first one I'm using is soft and gentle from Mac um, which will go in all the highlighted places that I like uh, and the second one I'm using is from Dior uh, which is I believe is called uh, the Nude Luminizer so the colour I'm using is number one um, I actually added an extra layer of um, the Dior powder um, with my fingers just on the top of my cheekbones um, for you know extra measure and then um, today I'm using two uh, mascaras both from, from Maybelline uh, the first one is the um, um, Sky High mascara and the second one is I believe um, the um, false lashes mascara both of them are absolutely beautiful I don't wear um, false eyelashes so I thought a bit of lash didn't didn't really hurt anyone and then um, with for my lips I am using um, the MAC lip pencil in Hot Podge this is a really nice cool toned brown colour which I absolutely love and then for lipstick I'm going in with the Fenty liquid lipstick um, it's a beautiful like a dark pink red colour I don't remember the name of this but I will definitely put it in on the screen for you and yeah that is the makeup done I hope you guys like this please subscribe give this a thumbs up and yeah I'll see you guys later bye